What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's just going to be a quick update video on the Ovation. I've had a couple people message me asking what's uh, what's going on with it since the last video. So, so since the last video, you'll notice in the I mentioned that the speedo wasn't working. I was trying to figure out why the speedometer wasn't working, and uh, unfortunately, I found out why. So the speedo housing itself, where's the other end of it? So here's your speedo housing. This uh, is supposed to be attached, <laughs> and it's not. So what had happened was is this plate here, I didn't install it by accident, kind of by accident, but not really. When I put the drive shaft in, I checked the parts diagram because I was looking for a plate like this. I'm used to like Polaris and Cat stuff. They all have a, a similar plate. And this does not show up in the parts diagram. And I was searching through my bins. I didn't see anything. So I just installed, installed the this housing, the Speedo housing, which doesn't really hold that bearing to the tunnel. And I remember going back and forth, looking through the diagrams, going, this doesn't make sense. Like, what holds the bearing in place? And I just said, whatever. It's not in the parts diagram. Throw it together. Uh, so what happens is it is in the parts diagram. It's in a separate, separate diagram to this. The part diagram with this literally shows this and the bolting to the tunnel with the bearing and it does not show this plate at all, but another diagram does. So anyway, long story short, I didn't have that plate. The dry shaft moved over this way, pulled out of the chain case, went this way, hit this housing. As you can see, see all that wear in there? So the dry end of the dry shaft was actually wearing into this and uh, that's what took out our Speedo. So I got a new one of those on order coming in. Um, that'll fix our Speedo issue. Um, yeah, so for today, what I'm doing on this thing, I'm not, I didn't want to put a whole video out. That's why I figured I'd just do an update because it's kind of boring stuff. But I'm pulling all the idler wheels off, changing all the bearings because they're uh, a lot of them are seized and bad. Um, and then I'm also going to be figuring out my hand warmer wiring because I wouldn't mind having the hand warmers on it. They do work, so um, might as well have them uh, working if possible, right? <laughs> um, what else? I think that's kind of it. Uh, my oil tank was leaking everywhere. I put an O-ring in the in the cap. The little lid there didn't have an O-ring in it. It's cheap Chinese stuff. So I O-ring that. Um, other than that, I think that's it. It's pretty much what's going on. So hand warmers today, some idle wheel bearings. And I just wanted to give an update on why the Speedo didn't work. Um, the next video, I think this is going to be the plan for the next video. So I'm going to get this sled out on the radar. Um, whenever we get snow, as you can see, like it's all gone. So I'm kind of waiting on snow. Not necessarily snow, ice. If I can get to a lake, frozen lake, uh, it's got some good ice, we'll do that. Um, but the plan is um, get this sled out, get it on radar. I want to leave all the factory, maybe not factory, but non-performance stuff on. So I'm leaving the heavy steel skis. I got plastic ones. I'm leaving the heavy steel skis. Um, I'm leaving the factory cylinders and, and, and pistons on there. Um, and then I was thinking of actually running a stock pipe too. I don't even know if it's going to fit. I never tried to fit it. But I was thinking about pulling the end pipe and putting a stock pipe on it. Just so we can get like a total baseline of what it's going to do speed wise. Um, completely stock. And then the next video after that, I'm going to be putting the ported cylinders on. I think I'm going to get my buddy James who uh, runs a machine shop around here. I think I'm going to get him to cut the heads, bump the compression up. Maybe get it around 140, 150. Um, I'm going to put the end pipe on. Uh, I'm going to put the plastic skis on and then we're going to see what it does with all those things done to it. We should pick up, you know, some, some speed anyway, we're going to find out how much and uh, that, that's the plan here. So radar run next video. Uh, let me know if you think I should bother putting the stock pipe on. I don't know if it fits, maybe I'll do it, but I don't know. Um, then yeah, radar run video and then we're going to tear it down, ported cylinders, cut heads, plastic skis and then we're going to run it again and see what we get out of it take your guess of how fast you think this thing's going to be so i think in here with the stock pipe and maybe the phaser pipe i'll probably run it with the phaser or sorry the and pipe probably run it with the and pipe but with the stock skis stock cylinders all that stuff i'm thinking um i don't know it depends if we get it on ice if i'm if we get it on ice i'm thinking like high 70s 77 maybe on ice um but I don't know. That's my guess. So, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. That'll be the radar run, like I mentioned. And, oh, yeah, one more thing, too. Studded the track. As you'll tell, the pattern's really stupid. 2-1, uh, 2-1. One, two, one. Uh, I had 36 studs uh, sitting on the shelf of parts there. So that's what she got. She got 36 studs. Not a lot, but we're keeping this thing on a budget. So it's getting what I have laying around here. So anyways, thanks for watching. I made this update way longer than I wanted to, which I normally do. I talk too much. But uh, stay tuned. Leave a comment. Let, you know how, let me know how fast you think this thing's going to be. Uh, and uh, if you want to see anything else specific on this thing, if you got ideas, let me know. I'm here for, I'm here for it. So... Uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Leave a comment. Have a good day. Hopefully you got snow. We don't. Bye-bye.
subscribe to the channel.